So the topics that we're going to cover, uh, generally speaking, we're going to be looking at from a standpoint of the breakdown, uh, how the models fail, or how uh, things are uh, difficult to model. Uh, a critical approach is uh, essential, I feel, to real-world trading. Um, economists uh, tend to deal in a world of um, idealism, perfection, and where uh, you know there's ample data um, to su you know to support their models one way or another. But traders deal in very real-world facts, where it's very important to understand exactly how things can go wrong, where there are unforeseen difficulties. Uh, and so, again, uh, we're going to take a critical approach uh, to markets uh, throughout this uh, four-lecture series, but also especially in this first lecture, which is going to be a, a real survey in uh, how I perceive uh, a number of angles of markets um, as an algorithmic trader. Uh, I'd like to share an anecdote. I, um, when, uh, when I started developing my own platform, uh, you know, it's, uh, not, there's not a lot of information shared vis-a-vis uh, -vis, uh, trading platforms. Uh, in, um, the types of things that you see in open source and in uh, developer communities uh, tend to be um, uh, you know, not-for-profit or freeware and that kind of thing. And actually, I was very impressed uh, with an open-world platform uh, that was created uh, by Notch, the Minecraft creator. Uh, it was my, uh, my son who uh, made me first realize about, uh, about Minecraft and how interesting it was. And uh, to be honest, I, was, uh, I started losing sleep um, because of uh, the open-world concept. It seemed to me that with all the work I was putting into developing a trading platform, uh, if someone who developed a, uh, a game platform like Notch for Minecraft had devoted his energy to developing a trading platform, uh, you know, um, it was an intimidating thought to think about how good uh, his platform would be. Uh, and it took me about a week or two until uh, my son came back to me and uh, what he loved to share uh, wasn't necessarily what could be built or the awesome open world platform, uh, but what he loved was where the game would glitch up, uh, the glitches, uh, where the breakdowns occurred. And um, kids love glitches, you know, they love different ways where you can see through the earth in Minecraft, or whatever. Uh, but I slept great that night. And the reason being that it was then I realized these sorts of, uh, you know, Minecraft, for instance, a gaming platform, uh, when you experience a glitch, when something goes wrong, you know, even if you experience a crash, uh, it, there's nothing system critical about a game. And so the development that occurs to create a game uh, doesn't come from a critical approach. It doesn't come from because the, the consequences of breakdowns and of glitches are fairly minor. Um, and uh, in markets, by contrast, uh, glitches can be catastrophic. Errors can be catastrophic. We're designing systems um, to uh, and systematic trades uh, to be robust to uh, to the types of glitches that are endemic to all other kinds of thought processes, development, work processes that we see uh, in the um, uh, you know in the broader world. So uh, I slept great that night, um, but it took me you know there were there were sleepless nights considering. Um, you know, creativity and other aspects. But as traders, we have to take a critical approach, which is a very different design approach and yields very different results. Uh, it may seem limiting at times, uh, but still essential.